Louisville heads to Miami. And Louisville, currently a one-point road favorite, total of 46. This one's 11 a.m. Central Time. Of course, God's time zone on ABC. And we pull up the numbers here. And Louisville, full season, is favored by .35 points. Now, my power rating has Miami favored. Uh, Louisville, however, now this does not include injuries and whatever else, right? Miami, uh, Emory Williams, the quarterback, out, uh, not not great. Tyler Van Dyke still does not look healthy. Uh, he came in, was two for seven last week against Florida State in, uh, in backup duty. And yet they were still, you know, close in that game. Like there was a, there was always a possibility that Tyler Van Dyke could have hit one of those deep passes and that game would have been tied and going to overtime. So I do like the Miami defense. They are pretty good. Louisville's numbers overall on the season. I mean, what Jeff Brom has done with this team is just remarkable. Uh, Louisville has Kentucky next week, but if if the Cardinals win this game, they are going to the ACC championship game. That is mind blowing to me. So, a little little surprising uh, what this team has done. Um, it's not so much surprising that they made it to the ACC championship game considering the schedule, but yeah, uh, Jeff Brom just really doing good things there so far. Uh, these are the uh, full season stats, and you see the defensive numbers for Louisville. They're number nine in the country in uh, predicted points added per rush allowed. Uh, they're number 16 PPA per pass. At Miami's offense it looks a whole lot better right here than what I'm about to show you, right? So let's uh, let's flip it over and let's look at the, the last four weeks. And the last four weeks numbers have got Louisville favored by 15 points. Now, it is one of those spots where everything's just kind of been too clean. Louisville should have probably lost a couple of games by now, but they, they squeaked by. But man, with the injuries and Miami giving everything they had in that Florida State game last week, you see the offense. I mean, number 126 passing success rate and number 116 rushing success rate over the past four weeks. I I mean, how are they supposed to put up points, especially against the Louisville defense that has been really good? Number six in the country in predicted points allowed per drive. That is mind-blowing kind of stuff. Uh, points per scoring opportunity, uh, even if Miami does get down the field, they can't finish drives. 2.47 points per scoring opportunity. Scoring opportunity, for those that don't know, is any time you get a first down inside the opponent's 40-yard line. They can't finish drives. And Louisville is number 10 in the country in the past four weeks at stopping them. So I, I don't know how Miami is supposed to score here. On the other side, Louisville has not really been throwing the ball much which is not common for Jeff Brom offenses. But, hey, I mean, they're running the ball 60% of the time because they're better at it. They're number 15 in the country in rushing success rate. Now, that goes into the teeth of the Miami defense. That is something to pay attention to uh, because Louisville is number 40 in PPA per rush. Uh, Miami's defense is number 15. So something to look for there, uh, especially when you look at stuff rate, Right, the offensive line for Louisville not great at run blocking. It doesn't look like they're number seventy-one in offensive line yards. They are number one twenty in stuff rate allowed. Miami's defense is number six in offensive line yards allowed and number eight in stuff rate. So, yeah, uh, it, that's I think that's why this number has come down because it was at two and a half just a couple of days ago and it's down to one now. When you look at the five factors rank over the past four weeks, just raw rank. Louisville is number one in the country, and Miami is number 103. Now, when you put in talent along with that, the numbers get a little closer. Miami's number 64, and Louisville is number five, but yikes. I mean, this is this is pretty wild stuff. Um, I don't, my issue here is this is a one-point spread, and I do not see how Miami scores. And if that is the case, then I'm going to have to go with Louisville. So I will take the Cardinals uh, minus the one here on the road. I think they wrap up the uh, their, their slot in the ACC title game. Um, they're really good. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.